we're going to leave this blank. I'm serious. Leave the root password blank. Just leave it empty and just continue. The installer will give you a little warning, but trust me, this is what you want. By leaving it blank, the system automatically gives your main user account pseudo privileges, which is the modern and correct way to handle admin tasks in Linux. After that, go ahead and create your main user. So let's move on. Full name for the new user, I'm going to call it Debian because I don't want to get confused. If I type with the right keyboard, the username for the computer, I'll leave it the same. Here's a new password. It's your choice here. Um, people would normally recommend that you use a um, secure password, but um, I find that I'm using installing this all the time, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to call this Debian. So when I log on, I've got a computer called Debian, I've got a user called Debian, and the password's called Debian. So that way I know exactly what I've got to type if I've got several computers floating around.